Wonder Woman is a very overrated movie. It is not a bad movie. It's actually a pretty decent movie. It's not a great movie like everyone else is, like like a lot of people are saying that it is, but it's not this amazing superhero film that a lot of critics and some people think it is. I don't understand how this movie is getting all this, uh, you know, critical reception. Well, actually, I do have a few dairies, and I'm pretty sure that uh, for those of you who are on the internet a lot and you know go on forums and stuff, you might have heard uh, you might have heard this uh, this argument as to why uh, as to why Wonder Woman is getting the type of reviews that it is getting or, or that it's gotten and all of the praise uh, surrounding uh, surrounding this film. So basically, because here's the thing. Wonder Woman as a film, like I said before, it's an, it's not a bad film. It's actually it's actually one of the the best uh, DCEU. Uh, it's one of the best DCEU films uh, to date, besides The Man of Steel, in my opinion. You know, I uh, there's a lot of people that probably will disagree with me on this, but I think Man of Steel is a way better movie than Wonder Woman. It does a lot. It does a lot more right than what Wonder Woman does. I think Man of Steel is a vastly, uh, vastly su- superior film, but I think Wonder Woman is their second best film. It's definitely way better than Suicide Squad and Batman vs Superman. But with Wonder Woman, here's the thing about Wonder Woman, and I'm I'm not gonna tackle this. I'm not gonna really tackle this uh, this issue ab- about the about the ratings and the praise from a perspective as somebody that's just like. I, I hate all this feminism crap that that, that they're trying to uh, that they're trying to shove into everything because here's the thing uh, Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman is inherent to, inherently a uh, it's inherently a feminist character it's supposed to be pushing feminists I, I would I would like I would be I would have been I would have been very surprised if this if this film uh, didn't didn't play up that feminism uh, angle. I was hoping that they would, and the reason why is simply because you know that's that's a part of the character that that's a big uh, that's a big part of that character. And my introduction to Wonder Woman was the uh, the animated 2009. I think it was either 2009 or 2008 uh, DC animated film about Wonder Woman. And honestly, if I compare that film to this, to uh, to the film that that Patty Jenkins did, I think that the animated film does it a lot better. I feel as though this this movie, this movie got a few things wrong with with Diana's character, and they they did something with her relationship with uh, with Steve Rogers that that I just I didn't really really like that that they did I'm, I don't want to spoil anything for people who haven't seen it but they, they did something that I that I didn't that I, like I didn't think that it was uh, I thought it was just outside of outside of uh, Wonder Woman's character but there are a lot of issues with this film to, to be to be blunt about it there's a lot of issues with this film that I feel as though if this is any other movie if this is any other movie a lot of these reviewers would have pointed that out, but it seems like a lot of people have like glossed over that. It seems like a lot of reviewers uh, glossed over the fact that, um, for instance, not all the acting. There's there's some bad there's some bad acting in this movie, especially in the beginning. Uh, Gal Gadot Gal Gadot is she's serviceable as as Wonder Woman. She really is, and it's not that I'm because I'm not hating on Gal Gadot. Um, I thought I thought her performance in uh, Batman vs Superman. I thought that she was one of I thought I thought that she was a, a standout in in Batman vs Superman, as far as you know uh, introducing us to Wonder Woman. I, I thought I thought that she was better. Honestly, I thought that she was better in that movie. But I guess I guess it's kind of hard. I guess it's kind of unfair to say that because you know uh, Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck really didn't get too much to like like it was just a bad film period as far as Batman vs Superman goes so it's kind of unfair to say that but I feel as though in, in Wonder Woman she does an okay job I mean she's I mean I don't think I don't think anyone is saying that she's this amazing actor because I don't I don't think she is I don't I don't think I don't think that she's a very great actor but 
she she did she did a decent job. I mean, I think they could have casted someone else as Wonder Woman uh, in this role, and they would have done a better job. I mean, there's a there's a lot there's a lot of better actresses out there. So, but outside of the acting, even like I feel like two thirds of this movie is is pretty good in some ways, but the 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 last half of this movie is atrocious. Besides besides the whole uh, thing with Steve Trevor at the end. And even even some even some some part of some parts of that, I kind of didn't like. But that whole third act, that final act of the movie, is just horrible. And even my my brother who who said he enjoyed this movie, even he said that you know the villain, the main villain, uh, Hades, was was a horrible horrible villain, and that the CGI didn't look right. Like like the CGI was bad. And this movie does a lot of things that a lot of reviewers would would take off points on other movies that it seems like they just, like, like I said, it seems like they just glossed over it. Like the bad CGI, the horrible villains. Not only was Hades horrible, uh, there were two other villains, uh, Dr. Uh, what was it, Dr. Poison and this military dude that are, that are overly cartoonish. They're just horrible villains. This movie had horrible villains at one point. Cause the movie's trying to be serious, but at one point the, these two villains they're, they're giggling and their uh, their dialogue is just so bad and it just makes their their performance at, at at certain points very cartoonish. I mean, there there are some really bad little small there 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 are small moments, but there are some bad moments in this film and there's some. Like I said, there's a lot of things that you can criticize about this film. So I don't know how this thing is sitting at a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. And and like I said, uh, obviously obviously I I know that Rotten Tomatoes is a uh, is an aggregate site. I know that it's just a combination of of reviews. I gotta point that out because there might be some people who think who think who think that Rotten Tomatoes does reviews. No, all they do is just combine all the reviews and and give you a percentage uh score but i feel as though i mean to give this movie a 90 percent on rotten tomatoes i i think that is a that's doing a big disservice to a lot of other superhero films that i think are vastly superior and something that i'm really like something i'm really i really don't think like i don't think this movie deserves an oscar i really don't and I, I heard, uh, I want to say it was like a month ago or two months ago or whatever, that they're considering uh, this movie for like the, the Academy Awards or whatever. They're going to give this, they might give this movie an Oscar or, or at least it's, it's in the running to get an Oscar. And I'm like, hold on, there are other films, there are other superhero films this year that are Oscar worthy. I mean, Logan, for instance. If Logan doesn't get an Oscar, but this movie does. That says something because here's another point. Here's another point, and here's another reason uh, why this movie is getting the good uh, reception that it's getting. Obviously, the the political climate, and I, like I said, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard this argument before, or maybe some of you have. The way that this political art, uh, the way that this political uh, climate is, the way that that pretty much this big push on, you know, feminism and having, uh, strong female characters, like, the way that this climate is, is the reason why this movie is getting great reviews, is, is the reason why this movie is getting praise, it's not because this movie is amazing, it's not because this movie is this great, fantastic movie, like, this is the, like, this is the Dark Knight, like, if, if you would listen to a lot of people talk about this movie, you would think, you would think that DC came out with another, another The Dark Knight uh, status movie, but this is not, this is not, I mean, Logan, Logan is vastly superior to this movie, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, that was a better movie, and, let's see, what, what's another superhero film that came out this year, oh yeah, Spider-Man, definitely Spider-Man Homecoming was way better than this movie, way better written than this movie, and it didn't really have that much of an issue with their with with, the, with its third act, uh, with the final fight with with the villain in in the Spider-Man movie. There are so many things that you can point out wrong with this movie, and one of the things that I can say about 
The majority of superhero films that came out this year, with the exception of Wonder Woman, is that I have a desire to watch those movies again. I have a desire to watch Logan again. I have a desire to watch Gu uh, Guardians of the Galaxy again. I don't really care if I see Wonder Woman again. I really don't. The only thing, and here's the thing, the only thing that sticks with me from that film is Steve Trevor, played by uh, Chris Pine. It's not like Gal Gadot made, like, it's not like she did, like, her performance was that amazing. Because it wasn't. It wasn't. And again, I'm not knocking the actress, I'm just saying. Like, you would think that they made this really fantastic, phenomenal film. The way that they're praising this movie. And I don't want, like, and here's the thing. Because I don't want this to be... Because if they do give this movie an award, and I'm pretty sure it's going to win a, a lot of awards uh, come award season. And the crazy thing is, because this wouldn't be the first award that DC is getting for a movie that isn't, well, well, I mean, this movie, at least this movie isn't Suicide Squad quality. And Suicide Squad got an Oscar, it got an award last year for like makeup and, uh, what was it, makeup and costumes or whatever. And I thought that that award should have went to uh, Star Trek. Because the, the, the costumes and the makeup and in Suicide Squad are almost... They're just like a step above CW, to, to, to be honest. They're like a, they're like a step above uh, CW superhero, superhero show. So, I just don't want these Oscars and these awards going to these... To these uh, basic either low level or just basic uh superhero uh movies and i'm and i'm not i'm not saying that i'm not saying that uh that wonder woman is basic if, if i had to give wonder woman a score i'd give it a 7 out of 10 because i i never did i realized i never did a review for it but if, if i had to give it a score i would give it a 7 out of 10 it's not an 8 it's not a it's definitely not a 9 it's definitely not an 8 a 9 or a 10 because it because it has issues it has issues it's a watchable movie you can enjoy this movie, but again, it's something that really, you know, when I look back on it, it's not something that really stands out to me because it feels like a mishmash. It feels like a mashup of Captain America and Door. And it does have elements that feel a lot like Door, and it does have elements that feel a lot like Captain America. And if you didn't if you didn't like either of those movies, you might not like Wonder Woman. So I don't know. I just think that this movie is completely overrated, but I don't think it's a bad movie at all. I think it's I think it's DC's uh, second film, a uh, second second great film as far as the DCEU goes. And to be honest, and and to be fair with you guys, because here's the thing: last year when the when the trailer first uh, when the trailer first dropped, I was so excited for this movie. I was excited for this movie. I wanted this movie uh, to, to really uh, hit it off with, with audiences. I wanted this movie to do good. And I, I'm very dis I, I'm a little disappointed by the quality of this movie. I, I really was. I was hoping for something a lot better than what I got. Again, not saying it's a bad movie. I'm just saying. I, I would have rather had something a lot better. And the thing with this movie, just the thing with this movie, if it gets an Oscar... It would be like a slap in the face to Marvel, to Fox, to a lot of other movies that didn't get an award that deserve it. Like Civil War. They didn't, they didn't I wonder how many awards, because I don't think, I don't think that movie really got a lot of awards, did it? So like Civil War and uh, Winter Soldier, those movies are vastly way better than Wonder Woman. But how many Oscars did those movies get? How many Academy Awards and, and stuff like that? See, that that is the reason why I personally think these award shows are a joke. You can give awards to all these different movies that don't deserve it, but there are a lot of movies that don't get the that don't get the uh, don't get the recognition that they deserve. I feel as though like movies like Mad Max, Birdman, La La Land, crap like that will get an award over a lot of other films that deserve. Uh, uh, they deserve uh, a lot more praise and, and awards than 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 what they than what they have gotten in the past. 
So yeah, that's all I had to say. That's all I got to say about this. Wonder Woman is overrated. Don't care. Don't don't really care if if you're pissed off that, that I said that. It's not like I said the movie was bad, cause like I've said a hundred times in this in this uh, in this video, I mean it's not a bad movie. Not a bad movie at all. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think do you think Wonder Woman is really Oscar worthy? And do you think that this really is better than than Winter Soldier? I mean seriously, ask yourself. Is Wonder Woman better than Winter Soldier? Is it better than the Avengers than, than the first Avengers? Because I don't think that movie even got an Oscar or any type of Academy Award. Like, this is ridiculous. It's obvious that the only reason this movie is doing well, because I feel as though if this movie, if this movie came out in 2008 or 2009, this movie would be sitting at a 70%. A 70 or like a 75% on Rotten Tomatoes. It wouldn't have gotten so much, uh, so much uh, critical reception. You know, a lot of critical praise. It wouldn't be doing as well as it as well as it uh, is right now. But yeah, that's that's all I gotta say. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. This has been the Negro Shoddy. I'm out of here. Peace.